about the leader, it's about the relationship between the leader and the people around him or her. Leadership is a relationship. You can't have a leader without followers. So instead of worrying about the leader, what we should worry about is the nature of the interaction. The leaders who brought out the best in you, which is a definitional way of saying they were the most effective because they were getting the most from you as a human resource. They were utilizing the human capital to its fullest. They interacted with you in a particular way. They engaged you. They talked to you. They trusted you. And again, the others didn't. Great leaders are in sync, in tune with the people around them. Now, this is, this is a very, very important distinction because a lot of times you hear people talk about alignment. And what they mean is the boss figures out the goals and strategy objectives and gets everybody else aligned behind it. I would contend this is a ridiculous idea. I mean, are you going to show up at work, you know, and say, okay, I'm a piece of furniture, you know, kind of dust me off, straighten me out? Seriously, tomorrow, are you going to get to work and you're going to show up and say, okay, here I am, I'm a human resource, allocate my asset? <laughs> no. That's not why we work. We work because we want meaning. And guess what? That's what these people that we just thought about as bringing out the best in us do. What's, what's the overall experience of being around these people? And what it came down to are three things that you all talked about. First, the resident leaders create a relationship in which you and they feel a shared sense of vision, of purpose, of context. Quick example. I had an opportunity to watch the CEO of a steam valve company, Ultimate Low Tech, kick off his annual meeting in Philadelphia, in the U.S., 350 people in the audience, his managers. He said, thank you, good morning. The next thing he said was, he named a small town in upstate New York, about 600 miles away. And he said, in that town, there's one general hospital. And that hospital gave birth to 350 people last year. In that general hospital last year, 1,800 people's lives were saved because of surgery or tertiary care. And none of that would have been possible if they didn't have 40 of our steam valves moving oxygen and gases. He said this morning, and he mentioned a small town in western Pennsylvania, about 200 miles away. He said people got up and they got their children breakfast, they got their children dressed and off to school. They got dressed, they went to work. None of that would have been possible if the local utilities, the gas and electricity companies, did not have 400 of our steam valves moving various gases. People in the audience were sitting there and you could feel a shift. They were saying, hmm, I don't just make steam valves, I make steam valves. And it's not just spin. See, people who don't get this say, oh, well, you're just talking about marketing, you're just talking about spin. It's meaning. Because people who are effective leaders, who bring out the best in us, help us remember the context, the purpose of our work. And they arouse a sense of hope because they say it's possible. Not it's guaranteed, it's possible. We have a chance if we work at this. Mm -hmm.